the Father without having the Son. Amen. You can't have the Son without the Holy Ghost. Now, these three are one. I had somebody stop me one day driving and say, uh, Pastor, I need you to tell me something because there's somebody going around talking about uh, y'all got three gods. Uh, now, I need to explain this to my children, he said. I said, well, listen. Now, I didn't write the Bible. I just read it. I've been called to preach it. And there was a lot of stuff in the Bible that I never understood, but I preached it because it was God's Word. It was God's Word. I did not understand how uh, we could die in the flesh and go into a grave and then going to stay there for ages and ages and then when Jesus comes back and cracked the sky and he said he said that the dead in Christ shall rise first and I thought how in the world are we going to get up and we all molded and decayed and dried up and bones are all decayed and everything until I read the paper one day a scientific journal and it said that uh, in a strand of DNA, that science, men of flesh, can take one little strand of DNA, one little chromosome, and they can reestablish that and lengthen it and strengthen it and turn it into a living human being. And I thought to myself, oh my God, if they can clone a man, imagine what my God could do. Stuff out here that we, our minds, we can't wrap our mind around. It. Right. So then I understood it. And I preached it with a little more fervor. Come on, so now I want to talk to you about a name. Yeah. In olden times, a name meant something. Yeah. It meant, uh, in the book of Genesis, God named the first man yes, of his creation, Adam, right. which means a human being. And that principle still holds true with some folks today. Even our Native Americans, uh, they gave names that had strong meaning. Right. Names like Eagle Eye, uh, Black Hawk, and Sitting Bull, and Red Cloud, and Rain in the Face. These are all names that gave uh, some kind of character to the individual. Now, some people have nicknames. Anybody in here with a nickname? Let me see your hand. Hey, Amen. All oh, you nickname folks. It's good to know I'm not in here by myself. They gave me a nickname. But even the nickname meant something. Amen. There's a name that the Bible promulgates and hurls at us. It is the name Jesus. This name came from heaven. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin named Mary. Who was engaged to Joseph of the house of David. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail Mary, thou art favored among women. The Lord is with thee. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. St. Luke, first chapter. Yes, sir. Somebody looked ahead and saw him coming uh, over 700 years B.C. And said, his name shall be called Wonderful Counsel. The Mighty God. You see, in one neighborhood, they may not know your given name. In one neighborhood, they may only know you by your nickname. But you're still the same person. Are you with me? Now, out here in the Red Brush, where I was raised, everybody knew my nickname. There were a lot of folks that maybe didn't know uh, when I reached a professional level in the educational circles, 
They didn't know who that nickname guy was. They knew my name that my mother and father had given me. But when you got those two people together, the professionals uh, with the neighborhood folks, and they said, we're looking for uh, Nelson Staples the third. The guys on the corner in the neighborhood would say, oh, you mean Skinner? <laughs> You see, the guy is the same, but he's known in various circles by different names. He's also called the Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9 and 6. Solomon saw him coming as the Rose of Shadow. you got to understand that there's something powerful about this name, and it's important to know this name has power in heaven and in earth. Solomon 4.15 called him fountain of living water, lily of the valley. But I love the name Jesus. It's a lovely name. It's a powerful name. The name Jesus is the only name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 and 12. The apostle found so much power in the name. He said that this name can heal the sick. Cure the lame. It can stop scorching fever. It can uh, work miracle after miracle. Don't you know that uh, to use the name of Jesus, uh, he told them to stop preaching in his name. They locked him up. Told him not to preach using that name. And they were put into jail. Don't you know? They gained the glory of men. They gave the glory, however, back to God. We've got some a young man in the uh, bulletin today. And he's uh, known for running a football. But uh, by the name of Ramon. And they put your young man all over the city. Call him Raymond and Ramusta and everything. But uh, his name 